We love food. Seriously, it is one of the only things we talk about on a daily basis, but like anything else, it is scientific. Scientists know less about taste than they do about, say, sight or hearing. So today we're going to do some experiments to challenge ourselves and our taste buds to show you how complex eating food really is. To help make sure that we actually don't know what we're eating, not only do we have the blindfolds, but we have Jess here, who's prepared, <laughs> she's prepared a bunch of food selections and drink selections to either trick our brains or our eyes or whatever, and we're gonna give our thoughts on what they are. Hopefully it's just fried chicken and yeah. bear. Maybe don't chew it too hard. It's not a bug, is it? Oh! Uh... What is it? <coughs> oh no. <coughs> what have you done to us? Oh my god. It's, <laughs> it's, ex it's like expanding, like I swallowed it, it's like going across my mouth. It's so hot! Many people think that taste and flavor are the same thing, but this is not true. Taste is the feeling or sensation you get when chemicals in your food react to specific receptors on the taste buds in your mouth. So chemical reactions make up taste, but once you add in a combination of things like smell, or in the case of those spicy peppers, pain, it's then that you get a sense of flavor. The four primary tastes gave clues to early humans as to what the function of food was. The taste was actually a signifier of the nutritional value. Huh? Oh god. Oh my god. Um, put it out? Yeah, you can if you want. Is this like a European candy? <laughs> Get an orange peel or like a grape yeah, it's orange grapefruit. Oh. Yeah, it smells like grapefruit. Wow. wow. Bitter taste was usually associated with something that is poisonous, which is why we often hate it and want to spit it out. Please, sir. I want some more. This one's sort of like a liquid. Are you ready? Oh, mm. okay. <laughs> oh. oh. Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! Oh. <laughs> it's so sour! My face is like... <laughs> and my, my right eye, like, it's covered, but it's like... <laughs> I love sour. That was really good for me. Mmm! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> This is a lemon. Yeah. This is so okay, sour. My eye is going to fall on my head. See, I was like, I love sucking on lemons. I enjoyed that, but it got me going. <laughs> Put on some tunes, he's gonna die! <laughs> sour taste can be an indicator of something that is healthy, like citrus, but it can also be associated with something that's gone rotten, like spoiled milk. You're like shooting this back into my mouth and then No, just eat it. It's a pe it's a... And then chew. <laughs> oh, this is crap. I know exactly what this is. Miss Vicky's salt and vinegar chip, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I think Miss Vicky's is Canadian. Mm. Oh. So, for those of you out there who aren't from Canada, it's a delicious chip that you should travel here for. Thank you. Okay. Did you get two? What? Oh. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's just like a chocolate bar. It's definitely like an O. Henry or something. Yeah. Yeah, it looks, like a, it looks like a poop. Yeah, it looks like a poop. You can put it in pools in the summer and people think that someone's mm. food in the pool. Almost all humans have a sweet tooth, as the sweet taste is an indicator that the food contains much needed calories. As well, salty taste is an indicator that the food has essential vitamins and minerals. But this has been taken advantage of with contemporary processed foods. With enhanced flavor, sweet and salty snacks signify to our body and our taste buds that they have nutritional value when in fact they often don't and instead our body's been tricked by evolution into craving these foods. Vision plays a key role in taste too. If you think about the color of the food you're about to eat, it usually gives an indication of the flavor, the taste, and the nutritional value. We decided to test this by changing the color of different flavored drinks and trying to guess what the actual flavor was. Oh, thank you. Okay. Cheers. Mmm. I have, okay, wait. I'm stunned. Peach or, juice. Or like peach pineapple or like some fruit punch or something. It's mango. Oh, mango! Oh, oh it is. It that is, is so mango. That's weird. That's good. That, I got that to, is crazy. I, have, yeah. I never said mango, I don't crazy. think. Your brain is programmed to choose foods that are most nutritional, so you'll choose a beautiful fresh apple over one that looks mushy, or even worse, moldy. You're put off by the food before even putting it in your mouth, which can prevent you from getting sick down the road. Okay. Okay. So you would think, like, urine. Urine. Dehydrated urine. <laughs> Oh! Oh my god. Oh. Like a coconut water. What? 
or like some like some sort of like beverage that's like like that you put in cook, like something I haven't drank much of. Are you lying? <laughs> I think I know what this is. <laughs> no, wait, what? <laughs> you think this is coconut? No, not coconut water. But Do like, we have the same? No, thing? like le- like lemon water, like a like something healthy, like a like a probiotic. Like I'm in LA. I, I like think that. it's wine. <laughs> it's wine. <laughs> it's wine. <laughs> Oh my god, it's wine. I thought, yeah, it, it's white wine. I thought it was one of those probiotic drinks. <laughs> French researchers found that when they colored white wine red, wine connoisseurs would actually start describing the wine with specific red wine indicators. This just shows you again the importance that vision plays in taste. Be careful with this wine. <laughs> 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 I didn't know that. <laughs> I can't drink that. Oh my god, it's burning. Oh my god, I know exactly what this is. Because I was a sick child and drank this for fun. I will continue to drink it because this is because sour is vinegar. Am I right? Yeah. <laughs> I love it. It's like the most intense salt and vinegar chips you could ever eat. I feel like I just watched like Titanic, you know, after when you're like, <laughs> you feel like you like cry for hours. Like I feel like I just like, I'm having that. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Being a picky eater does have some genetic variables, with some people inheriting traits that make certain foods taste a lot worse to them than others. Some people have higher concentrations of taste receptors, making bland food taste surprisingly flavorful. But maybe in my case, I've got a lot, and that's why that vinegar was disgusting, and you want to drink it like water because you're a faricha. Or you're just a big old baby who can't take a little bit of vinegar. My tongue is just packed with receptors. See? So it's salty. I know what it is. That was good. And seaweed. We're like getting fed fish food. <laughs> Which is kind what of what it is. What does fish food taste? Yeah. It's really this good. is what fish food tastes like. Does it actually? Have you tried it before? Yeah, I used to have a fish and I never fed them. I would just chug what? back fish food. Do you think, think we could just eat food. fish food? <laughs> that's like, yeah, I like it has such I a nice seaweed. flavor. Yeah, yeah like it's seaweed. Delicious. Like, it's so good. Japanese scientists have actually found that the glutamic acid found in certain foods like seaweed and Parmesan cheese react to specific receptors in the back of your tongue, and they now define this as your fifth sense known as umami. On top of this, there are some French researchers that think there are specific receptors in your tongue for fat. So maybe in our future, our sixth sense will be fat. I see delicious food. So that was really tasty, at times disgusting and very shocking, but it was so fascinating to see how our vision is so tied to what we taste. You can try these experiments at home to see, or not really see because you'll be blindfolded, how really unique and amazing taste is. Honestly, it kind of blew my mind to, to be tasting those things and not knowing what they were. So, see you next week, and if you haven't watched our last video, you should, because we started a book club, and I'm about a quarter of the way through our first book, which is Cosmos. It's fascinating, it's amazing, you should all read it. And in the meantime, you should subscribe to our channel, except not. <laughs> you should follow us on Instagram and Twitter where you can see what we're up to next. But in the meantime, peace. Peace.